everybody welcome back to the channel in this video i'm going to be responding to this viewer's comment a little bit of backstory about it i teach a course at course careers that teaches people how to get into it as fast as possible when someone takes the course and then graduates and gets a job i'll typically interview them on my channel and kind of post it for everybody to see so this comment was left on one of those videos where i was kind of interviewing somebody and a little bit of backstory about that person they took the course it took them only two weeks to get through the course and then they graduated and then it took them another two weeks to find a remote knock position which is pretty good knock is like a network operation center but the the thing that this person didn't like who left the comment is the, rem the remote knock position like paid 15 dollars an hour which is like 30k which is you know on the lower end for it obviously i don't know where they live or anything but basically i'm just going to read that person's comment and then i'll kind of respond to it and then i will read that person's response to my response so so basically the ripper says maybe i'm just being that one contrarian but to me 15 dollars an hour is not really anything to be excited about it's almost more disappointing than anything but basically he goes on to say that you can go and just work at target and get more than 15 dollars an hour being like a, a cashier or something like that without having to spend time going through a course and all of that and he's saying uh, if it takes you know weeks or months or something to go through a course and answer you know, a more difficult interview he kind of expect to make more than 15 dollars an hour or something like this and you can read my response here if you want to but basically my argument to this is i'll read his response to my response after this but essentially what happened is this this guy this young guy he he was a security guard and he literally like changed his career for five hundred dollars in in one month like true he makes fifteen dollars an hour which is about 30k a year but if you kind of think about it like the the in the traditional sense how people go about changing their career in the olden days maybe they consider like going back to school to get another bachelor's degree or even associate's degree or some kind of certification or something i will say like 99.999 percent of the time it's definitely going to take longer than one month and it's definitely going to cost more than five hundred dollars so in terms of opportunity cost what this gentleman did who went through my course and you know accepted a job fast that only pays 30k he's making a pretty decent use of his time right because i i tend to do this as well um especially when i'm trying to shift into something new like when i want to shift into cybersecurity or shift into software engineering i tend to like just try to get the first job i can get like as soon as i can so i can start getting experience because that like really reduces the opportunity cost of like taking a long time trying to like job hunt and like look for like the job that pays as much as you want maybe it takes you like you know four or five or six months to find the job that you want where you could have just gotten a job especially if it's your first job in the field you just pick one like right away as long as it's not too bad right and then you can you can get you know pay for that four or five six months and you can also get experience for that four or five six months right and that's really really useful when you're going to try to you know get a better job with more pay and more responsibility or or whatever the case may be so for me, like in terms of opportunity cost and like time and money saved, that's really, really good. People do internships for free, right? Trying to get experience. People even like pay for internships for some reason, which I don't really agree with. But, you know, paying $500, accepting a 30K job in the interim to change your career in one month. To me, that's a really, really good deal. And that's what I've done a lot in the past because I have like a really diverse background. I have like you know, IT operations, cybersecurity, and uh, coding too. And I tend to like do stuff really fast, like high velocity, get a job as soon as possible, get as much experience as I can, get another job. And that kind of looks like what this dude is doing, um, which I commend, right? So before I read the response to my response, let's take a quick break for a response of this video, Ewan Racing. I was lucky enough to get this super nice gaming chair from E1 Racing, which is cool because I didn't even have a chair at all. This particular one is the Knight Series and it can hold up to 400 pounds, so technically two of me can be sitting in it at once. Nice sturdy armrests. You can adjust them up and down. Has a nice lumbar cushion as well as a neck cushion, which I really, really like since my back is kind of messed up. And you can lean back up to 155 degrees, which is almost flat, pretty much lay down on it, and the chair won't dump you out onto the floor. <laughs> I'm actually really happy with it, happy to review it. And if you're interested, check out the link in the description. So getting right back to the video, the Ripper's response to my response, basically he says, he says, while I understand your arguments, I just don't agree with it all. It's nothing on you personally. I just think it's a real issue with the industry in general. Well, yes, he technically gotten his foot in the door, 
There's nothing in this interview that actually went on to any detail about what kind of work he's actually doing. That's because, you know, he, I don't think he started working yet. He was like going through orientation or something at the time I interviewed him. So he like, I couldn't talk about it and how that will help him get a higher paying job. A lot of weight is being put into the fact that he's now a remote knock position and the type of pay and the fact that he simply has about a month's worth of course knowledge. I wonder if the knock position is more or less a help desk one. Like, I guess we have like, you know, no way of knowing that, right? The title is just knock technician or worse, just a call center. I mean, I don't think so, because like, that's not what he said in the interview, but um, you know, who knows, I guess. Well, yes, you do have to start somewhere. I question your quote of saying it's going to be very easy to make more money almost immediately or whenever he wants to get another job. So I'll kind of respond to this a little bit. Um, experience in our field is paramount, like over certification, over quote unquote education, almost over anything else. Like experience is like really heavily weighted. Of course, you can go to your job and be like, a, you know, a dirtbag and not do anything. Or you can go to your job and try really hard and like learn as much as you can about the stuff around you and kind of take that and make it your own and then use that to go get a better job. I don't suspect that this person who went through the course is the type of person to be a dirtbag because he did a great job in the course and he found a job like really, really fast. So that kind of leads me to believe that he's probably the type to like do a good job at, at work. And if you do that, it's not hard to gather up a bunch of experience and go get a job somewhere else. So for instance, say I got a job working, you know, $20 an hour or something being like a help desk admin or something like this, but I just so happened to use Microsoft Intune for my job or Microsoft SCCM. I could be like, huh, interesting and search these on indeed and, and i take it and like lab it at home or something and then i can just go apply to a job and then make a lot more money like yeah i i do use it at work and have experience with it but i i also did all this other stuff on my own so i'm like really good at it now and the fact that you had a job using it kind of like corroborates your claims to you know skill or experience or whatever the case may be so that's my response to that so without significantly more time and effort inside and outside his current job, studying and getting more certifications or something similar. Yeah, I kind of assume that's what he's going to do. It's not like you can just get a job and be like, I'm a knock technician, like doing nothing for like a year, like give me 100K now. That, that I agree, that doesn't work. And I, I don't think that that dude is going to do that. Anyway, yeah, there's no way for him to like know all that. But I don't, I don't see it being quite the easy stepping stone you make it. Um, from what I've seen recently, low tier entry level IT jobs without tons of time investments outside of work only yield more entry low level paying work. What? Yeah, I can I can agree with this, right? Because to get a better job, to get any job, right? All it boils down to is having skill and being able to convey that skill. If you can't convey the skill in the interview, you're not going to get hired, which yeah, I, I agree with. But yeah, I agree with that. No, none of this is a dig on you or this gentleman who has obviously put in some work. I just don't, I just don't want others to get the impression that once you are in the door, there's nothing but smooth sailing from there because I just don't think that's the case in our current environment. So I pretty much agree with what he's saying. Um, you can't just like sit in your help desk job and be like, okay, I'm like a sys admin like six months later. Yeah, like, like doesn't work. Basically like what the process is, you say you get a job as a help desk person, you're like, okay, I wanna be like a cloud support engineer. So when you get your help desk job, of course, you know, take time to learn what you need to do to learn your job. And then you kind of start thinking about the job that you want to get in the future, say, you know, cloud support engineer. And then you take these 12 personal stats and then you kind of apply those to the job that you want to get. In this case, the cloud support engineer. So you might, you know, pick up a certification or two relevant to that to kind of quote unquote, raise your stat for that pillar. You might practice some more interview questions, but instead of help desk, it might be like cloud support engineering interviews. You might make some more projects. So not help desk projects, but cloud support engineering type projects or, you know, cloud centric projects. And you kind of raise your stats relative to the job that you want to get. And that's, that's kind of, that's, that is what I teach in my course. And that's what this guy did in order to get a job in you know two weeks. And so he has that framework now. So, you know, if he wants to be like a network engineer or something, you know, he'll look at his 12 stats and be like, okay, certifications. Oh, maybe I should get CCNA or something. Oh, like interview. Oh, maybe I should, you know, practice, you know, network engineering interview questions, something like this. Um, so yeah, for the most part, I agree. There's just like lack of context for this comment. So um, it might have come off uh, like I was you know, saying something that I didn't mean to say. So sorry about that if that's the case. But um, in conclusion, if I could change my career and like get a new job in one month for the cost of $500, even if I was getting 30K, if I could afford to do that, depending on what the you know, job was, I would, I would definitely do it. And I have done stuff like that in the past. Like I have, I've taken a job that pays $25 an hour just because I wanted to get a security clearance and I wanted to go to Japan. Definitely worth it for me. It just like depends on what you want to do. I definitely feel like this guy who graduated the course and accepted like the 30K knock job, I 100% 
guarantee he could have gotten more pay if he wanted to like if he wanted to hold out or be like a little bit more picky with his job that he picked absolutely he could have gotten more there's like a bunch of people who graduated the course who've gotten you know much more than this you know there was someone who went super hard and made close to 100k but there's been like other 50k people 45k people um, all within like a matter of a couple of months at most. So I'm really confident that he could have gotten more, but he's probably just doing what I do, which is like super high velocity, like get experience as fast as possible. Don't care. And I, I think it's a pretty good move because time is like really important to me and, and I ain't trying to waste time when I'm trying to get, uh, you know, the most valuable thing for my career, which is experience, right? So um, thanks so much for leaving this comment. Um, it was really good. It gives people a lot to think about and look at. Really appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching and we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.